set off for the northern region to refuel. This place is paradise compared to what's further ahead. Beyond our destination lies the closed gate to Nord Belka. Fifteen years ago, the Belkans set off seven nuclear bombs there to stave off the advancing Allied forces, entombing themselves in the frozen valleys to the north. That bit of history should have been enough of a lesson for us all. An SSTO craft launch facility lies to the east of our current location, McNeely Air Force Base. The facility was a collaborative project between OSIA and Yuktabani. It was built to be a bridge to outer space with a mass driver 7.5 miles in length. Our radar has detected several planes from a Yuktabanian squadron approaching the facility from several directions. The facility is currently conducting pre-launch operations for an SSTO craft. The base commander will provide you with further orders. This is the commander of McNeely Air Force Base. All units, including those refueling at this base, are now under my command. Engage the incoming enemy. All untrained pilots are barred from taking off. Those guys are still kids.
Air Defense Command. The enemy has a large formation of transport planes escorted by a squadron of fighters. They're conducting an air assault to capture this base. What? They're actually planning to invade Osea? If we shoot the parachutes before the tanks detach, we'll smash them into the ground. You with me? I guess we don't have any other choice. I can't believe that's our strategy. Airborne tanks are dropping from the transport plane! Can you count all those parachutes? I gave up already! Destroy all airborne ACVs. Engage them in the air and on ground. The ACVs are moving this way. Don't let them get near the mass driver. Attention Allied planes! Destroy all approaching enemy tanks! They're halting the countdown after all this? All that hard work! Just down the train! The tanks are mobilizing away from their landing point. They're all scattering in droves the moment they touch ground. You sure we'll be able to land safely? It's all over if the tanks break through. Blaze, do you think our forces are sufficient? I'd like to think so too. But they even had to call us out, you know. This is the Northeast Sector Defense Force. The enemy has broken through Pillbox 1. Some of the tanks appear to have taken damage when they hit the ground. Throw the Molotov cocktails! Sir, 
three modes of communication. Wired, wireless, and runners. Fox 2. That thing can sure take a lot of hits. It's as solid as a rock. Turning against us. Don't underestimate the enemy. Stay alert. You. Captain, bail out. My plane can't keep up with them. Four minutes to launch. Hold them off till then. Four minutes? We won't last that long. Blaze, do you know why the Ark Bird was built? Ironic, isn't it? Captain, the enemy is spread out over a large area. Should we split up to engage them? Roger, don't worry, I can handle it. Archer, breaking off. Check the missile's current position on your radar. I can't shoot them all down! You'll do fine. Stay calm and you won't miss. We're being pushed back, little by little! Guidance team reporting. Our launch window will close in a few minutes. Have faith in our fighter pilots. Don't rush your final checks. There are so many of them. They're going to penetrate our defenses sooner or later. Ken, is the launch facility safe? I can't tell from here. Ah, good. I'll continue the operation. Three minutes! Three minutes to go! I'll finish it off with the next shot. Missile trajectories detected. Moving to intercept. We're getting beaten back. What's going on? Smoke that thing before the enemy planes get over here. What about the final check on the remote measurement units? Uh, sorry, sir. Remote measurement units check complete.
SSTO status report. Everything's clear. All systems are go. Yeah, I'm seeing it now. It's a beautiful sight. This is great. Observation room reporting. The SSTO is climbing smoothly. Congratulations. <laughs> The white bird rose up once again, laser cannon in its wings. It was a moving sight. In my heart, though, I wished it didn't have to be used in war. None of them found out why the enemy targeted the base until much later. Of course, by that time, it was too late. We prevented the Yuktobanian army from capturing the launch facility. The SSTO launch was successful. The SSTO docked with the Arkbird, which had descended into the upper atmosphere, and successfully transferred a laser weapon module over to the craft. All aircraft with the 108th Tactical Fighter Squadron and the Sand Island Detachment returned to base as soon as rearming and refueling operations are complete.